This is our 12th day of Halo Top, the last day. Um, this is the strawberry and it is 280 calories for the entire pint. This is not one of the new flavors. There were only 10 new flavors, but, but it's new to our area. We could only get certain flavors and this was just one that it never came to us. Right. So um, I'm thrilled to be able to pick it up. I, um, I've heard it's really, really good, so I can't wait to try it. It was $4.99 at Kroger. It's been sitting out for a little while to soften up. There we go. Go ahead, dig it. And I've really been enjoying uh, getting to try the new Halo Tops. This has been fun. Um, where, you know, Kevin and I know we're going to get to eat ice cream every afternoon. <laughs> It's okay. For me, it's a little strong. I like it a lot. Like it's a little, it's got a little bit of a chemical kind of aftertaste. It reminds me of um, strawberry milk, strawberry Nestle's quick. Uh, to me, it's very creamy. Yeah. Um, it reminds me of a creamy strawberry milk. Yeah, and I agree. I like it. It just has a little bit of an aftertaste that reminds me of a chemical, a little bit. Mm. That's really it good. It is good though. Yeah, I'll, I could keep eating this. This is terrific. It tastes like a piece of strawberry candy more than mm. ice cream. Yes, if you like strawberries at all, yeah, you, you really need to try that. Yeah, let's try it. I think this is this is excellent. Um, I, I would definitely uh, recommend this one. This is one to try. Um, what we were going to do, uh, Cassie suggested to me that on the 12th day, she said, I think you should rank them all. She said one to, there's, there's a, we've done 12 days. So, um, we're going to even include the two, the uh, chocolate mocha chip and the strawberry. We'll include those all 12. We're going to rank them. Kevin will rank his and I'll rank mine and we'll see if we match up on any of them. We won't consult with each other. And then I will include separately from Kevin the old flavors that we've tried. The old flavors that have been around the vanilla, the chocolate, the mint, and lemon, and birthday cake. I'll include those five for the a final breakdown of how I feel about them. So we're going to go away so that we can uh, mark down what we think and we'll be back. Okay, we separated <laughs> and we don't know each other's favorites. And so. I'm going off, my memory of food is horrible, so I kind of know my top ones and then the other ones just kind of fall, whatever. Okay. Just should, warning you ahead of time. Should we go from least to best or from best to least? Whatever you want to do. I've got three in my least spot. Oh, you had ties? I have three ties oh. for least that I would never buy again. Well, I've got some that I wouldn't buy again, but I actually put a number next to them on, so. Well, okay. I got I got three that I, I would, they're all. Okay, bad. let's do your three bottom ones, and we'll do my three bottom ones. Okay. The three out worst. Out of the 12. Of the, out of the 12, out of the new, these are only the new, out of the 12 that we tried. The pistachio. Uh, pistachio, yeah. Black cherry. Yep. And I had cookies and cream. I said, um... Cookies and cream. Oh my gosh. Is that your bottom three? Uh, yeah, because it was 12, 11, and 10. 12 yeah. was black cherry. But 12, if I had to do them in order, it would be black cherry. Black cherry 12. was the least. Right. Yeah, I didn't like it at and all. Then, and then pistachio. Yeah. And then, and then, the then cookies, cookies and, cream. and cream. If I had to rank them, I would have been the same. So we had the same three for our bottom yeah. ones. That's cool. Okay. And then um, <laughs> for number nine, yeah, I have you? chocolate mocha chip. And see, that was, I don't have that for now. Um, I put peanut butter cup because I just don't remember it, honestly. It wasn't it was good enough to be- It was the first one we tried, it, so that's why he doesn't remember. I don't remember. It wasn't good enough to be memorable to me, and I haven't tried it since then, so I don't remember it. Okay, for eight, I said chocolate almond crunch. And I said the chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay. For seven, I have strawberry. I have oatmeal oh, no cookie. And I've said before, I think, uh, in another one, I'll say it again. The oatmeal cookie was has a good flavor, but the the graininess, the big hunks of oatmeal, is too much for me. It's just they too big. They do need to use smaller oats. They need to grind them up I, a little I bit more. Agree or completely. Something. They need to use smaller oats. Okay, for six, I have red velvet. I have strawberry. 
For five, I said s'mores. Sea salt caramel. For four, I said oatmeal cookie. And that was my chocolate mocha chip. Okay, so we're down to our top three. Yeah. Uh, my number three was chocolate chip cookie dough, which was really cookie dough. It was, and it was okay. Um, I have s'mores for my number three, which I should have probably bumped that up a little bit, but I'll leave it at number three. My number two was peanut butter cup. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. See, I just don't remember it. What was uh, your number two? Chocolate the almond crunch. Chocolate almond crunch. Uh -huh. Which tasted like a maraschino cherry. Yeah, which I like maraschino cherry. Uh -huh. My number one flavor was the sea salt caramel. Yeah. Where was your s'mores at? My s'mores was number five. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. Uh, my number one probably is the red velvet, although I could probably go with number one being the chocolate almond or the s'mores. All three of those were kind of really good. So once again, for me, uh, the top five. Uh, sea salt caramel was number one. Number two was peanut butter cup. Number three was chocolate chip cookie dough. Number four was oatmeal cookie. And number five was s'more. So what was yours? My top five? Yeah, top five. Red velvet was number one. Mm -hmm. Chocolate almond crunch, s'mores. Like I said, those could all be kind of interchangeable. Um, the chocolate mocha chip, I liked it because it had that little bit of a coffee flavor. And uh, sea salt caramel was number five. I like the caramel too. So, okay, so that's the 12 new flavors that we tried. Now, I, uh, Kevin did not know this part because Kevin- I don't remember the peanut butter cup, much less the ones from a year ago. From, yeah, from a long time ago, yeah. You've had them since, you've bought them since then, mm -hmm. though, and I have not eaten them. So, I made a new list up and included those. Honestly, though, none of those were in my top uh, five, none of them. There are 17 uh, when you add the well, new flavors. Oh, you, okay, There's, you actually ranked them as part of the 12. I, I went back and did uh, it, yeah, but I'll just tell you, I kept my, my, the only thing that changed was my top five changed. My, um, I still said sea salt caramel, uh, peanut butter cup, chocolate chip cookie dough, and oatmeal cookie. Those are still my top four. Number five was birthday cake. So uh, I def I love the birthday like cake. But good. I know a lot of you are gonna be shocked about that because birthday cake is like, I've raved on birthday cake forever, but you have to keep in mind, I've only had five flavors to choose from. So out of those five flavors, yes, the birthday cake was the best, the best ever. Now that I have so many, a new world's opened up to me, birthday cake isn't number one anymore. So, um, and birthday cake's my number five. My number six would be just the vanilla bean because I really love the flavor of that vanilla bean. Uh, my number seven would be the lemon cake. Lemon cake is awesome. And then they pretty much the same order, you know, whatever was number five before, which was the, the s'mores is number eight now because of the ranking. And so I'll just tell you, the uh, the mint chip is number nine, and the chocolate is fifteen out of out of seventeen flavors. It's so fifteen, much and I tell you why, because it's just chocolate. Yeah, it's good. It's Ashley's favorite. Ashley loves chocolate. Now Ashley hasn't tried the new flavors, but out of the ones she's tried, Ashley loves the chocolate. But it's just chocolate ice cream. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just never, I'm never going to pick chocolate as my very, very favorite Chocolate's flavor. Chocolate's not my favorite flavor anyway. It's my favorite like candy bar. I like yeah. chocolate. The ice cream, I like, I'd rather have something with a vanilla base than a chocolate Yeah, base. yeah, exactly. Like a Culver's. You yeah. want the vanilla I base like the vanilla. with the, yeah, with your uh, Whatever. concrete mixer yeah. instead of the, the chocolate. The chocolate Cause chocolate just takes over. So. So the chocolate is awesome. If you haven't tried the chocolate, it's really, really good, but it's just chocolate. So this has been awesome. It's been so much fun to get to try these. I absolutely loved it. Um, it would be fun to do this uh, with another brand that comes out with something like this. Um, yeah, most brands don't come out with 10 things all at one time. All at one time. That's what made this so cool is they came out with 10 new things at one time. So you get to try them and move on. It's not like, you know, Oreo comes out with new Oreos, but they're like one every time. few months. Yeah. And so I'm not one of these to save them in the freezer. So once they're gone, they're gone. I can't compare them again. So, so it was neat to get to do this. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, 
and I'll have a picture of that strawberry at the end. And thanks for watching.